Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Monday, August 1st, and today I'm going to give a film review of another 1986 movie called Space Camp. This one stars Kate Capshaw, Leah Thompson, Leaf Phoenix, Tate Donovan, Tom Skerritt, Kelly Preston, and Larry B. Scott. It's about a group of teenagers and one preteen that accidentally get launched into space thanks to an off-the-cuff remark made by the youngest and an over-eager maintenance droid known as Jinx. This is a pretty fun movie. It gets kind of silly at times, and at times it's over the top, but it's very funny and very cute. And the main theme throughout the movie is teamwork, which is, at times, very important. I would call it sort of a coming-of-age comedy, kind of in the same vein as Back to the Future, but without sci science fiction elements. What I liked most about it was, honestly, this thing is absolutely chock full of Star Wars references made by the younger kid. I mean, he's a Star Wars fanatic. I mean, he's like, copy rogue leader checking in from a next mission against the Empire, your highness, and like a dozen more. I think there's at least 12 Star Wars references in this movie, which is fine by me. Hey, nerds unite! And of course, the robot Jinx is very funny. He provides most of the comic relief for this movie. What I disliked most about the movie is at times it got uh, campy, if you'll pardon the pun. You know, it was the Reagan era, typical um, American superiority, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. They were beating a dead horse to some point. It was like, teamwork, you've got to work as a team, you've got to work as a team. I did it. No, we did it, you know. Which brings me to how family friendly it is. Apart from the mild language, it's very completely family friendly. There's no skin, there's nothing gory about it, there's no violence, there's there's not even any blood in it, so it's very, very tame. So the scores, I would give the story, it's about average, especially for the 80s, so it's about 7 out of 10. The acting also gets a 7 out of 10. There's no really stellar moments, and honestly, I hate to say it, but Kate Capshaw fell kind of flat when she was talking to the kids. The best actor in there, I think, was probably the little guy. <laughs> Script, also, I would also give a 7 out of 10. The humor, it was a little bit higher than normal, especially with Jinx. I, got a, I always get a few good laughs out of it, especially where the mechanic's like, Jinx, where the heck's that ratchet? And he's, in your hand. <laughs> it's silly, but it's still funny. So humor, I would give an 8 out of 10. Music, it was done by John Williams, so of course it's going to be above average. This was one of his more unremarkable, not-so-memorable scores. There weren't any memorable themes in it. It just gave the sort of... Da, 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 da. It was it had a few hints of E.T. in there, but it was still a very good score, so I'd give it an 8 out of 10. The cinematography was... The shots of space were excellent. I think they used some stock footage from shuttle launches and shuttle landings because it was so expensive. But still, it was very nice to look at, so I give it a 7.5 out of 10. So adding everything up, the final score for Space Camp is a 7.4 out of 10. Good all-around movie, especially if you like cheesy 80s music. Stay tuned next week because I'm going to do another 1986 movie, Flight of the Navigator, and during the week I'm also going to try and pepper in a few more reviews of movies that I've seen recently. Anyway, that's all for today, and until next time, this is the Clumsy Jedi signing off. Bye!